Hey there everybody, I'm Saban Adams and in this video we're going to look at how easy it is to start off a TypeScript project and to use Prisma in that project. So to start off we're actually going to need a TypeScript project. So if you head over to a terminal you could do make directory and I'm going to call this Prisma sample. So we've got a new directory called Prisma sample and I'm going to enter that directory. And we are going to need a few packages to be able to run our project. So let's do npm init-y to initialize npm and then we'll do npm i-d to install development dependencies. And I'm gonna do these dependencies here, Prisma, TypeScript, TS node, and at type slash node. So we'll install those and that should take a quick second. And once it's done, we can actually pop open our project. So I've opened the project here and I'm gonna head over to the terminal again. And we're gonna to need to initialize TypeScript so that we can actually start using it in our project. So I'll do mpx tsc dash dash init and that's gonna create a tsconfig file. And I'm gonna just replace the contents of that with this uh, setup that I have here. So if you need to, feel free to copy this. And then I will open up the terminal once again. And now we're gonna initialize Prisma. So I'll do mpx Prisma init. And this is gonna create a Prisma folder for you. And in this folder, we're gonna have a schema.prisma. And this is your Prisma schema. So this is the start of your schema here. Um, currently, all it has in it is the generator. So it's going to say that we want to create uh, the Prisma client. We need to generate that. And it also has the configuration for your database. So this is saying we're going to use a Postgres database and that we're going to be looking in the environment for a database URL. And that's going to be found here. So I've got a URL. And now we can go into our schema.prisma. We need to create a new model and I'll call this user. We'll just store simple user for this video. And it's gonna have an ID that's a string, and this will be the primary key. And we wanna default any new records to a CUID. So this will just create a random ID for each user. And we'll give each user a name. And let's just say we do an age as well. So each user is gonna have a name, an ID, and an age. So at this point, we'll just say this is our model for now. This is our database schema, and we wanna actually apply this to our database. So what we can do is we can run a migration, and I'm gonna run npx prisma migrate dev. And so what migrate dev is gonna do is it's gonna create the migration, and then right away it's gonna apply it to our database. So we still need to name this migration, so I'll give it a name, and we'll call it init because this is the first migration. And when you hit that, it's gonna go through and it's gonna create the database migration and it's going to apply it to your database and it should let you know when it's done. And there we go. So it's applied our migration. And if we actually go into our Prisma folder, there's a new migrations folder now with this migration.sql and this is where your migration is. So you can actually see what gets run in your database. And then right near the bottom of this message, you're going to see that the Prisma client was also generated by default. Uh, so when you run migrate dev, it will uh, regenerate Prisma client for you. So now we're ready to use Prisma and we need a way to actually run it. So we'll do index.ts, create a new file here. And then in package JSON within your scripts, let's create a new script. And this one's going to be called dev. And all it's going to do is ts node index.ts. So it'll run your index.ts file. Now we can import Prisma client here, Prisma client from Prisma client, and we will instantiate that. So we'll say Prisma equals new Prisma client. And so now we have access to Prisma client and we need a way to run it. So let's create a new function and we'll just call it main. And we will right away just run this function. That way we can use async operations. And within this function, let's just create a user and log it out so we can see if this is actually working. So I will do uh, await prisma.user.create. And here we're gonna need to provide some data. And let's do the age is gonna be 10, name, I'll just do my name, Adams. And we don't need to worry about the ID as you see the TypeScript error went away because that's gonna be automatically generated for us. So that should create our user. Now let's just grab all the users in our database. At this point, it should just be one. Uh, so I'll do const users equals await prisma dot user dot find many. That'll grab all the users in our database. 
And then we could just log that out. And I'll do a console.table so that it's in a little bit prettier of a format. So now if I run this, it should create the user and log out our user for us. So I'll do npm run dev. We added that dev script to package JSON. And there we go. So we actually got a user back. So that tells us the user was created and we've retrieved it and console logged it out. So at this point, you have a full TypeScript project uh, with Prisma configured and ready to go and actually working. So uh, this video was super quick, so hopefully this showed how nice and easy it is to get up and running and to actually model out your data and start using it. So thank you for watching and I hope this helped.